All right guys, today's video is going to be about driving a manual transmission. We're in the GTO today. It's important for you guys to see my feet and what my feet are doing, what my hands are doing. Um, everything else really doesn't matter. You don't need to really see where we're going. Um, so, let's start off basics. So, when you're in a, a car with a manual transmission, it's going to be in gear if it's parked. Parking brake's going to be up. Um, first thing, engage your clutch. Put it in neutral. And uh, keep your foot on the brake, of course. Crank the car. Take your brake off. Take your time with this. Um, the biggest thing here is, is just coordination between your feet and your hands. Trust your feet. Sit in the car you're going to drive. Put your feet out. Feel where your your uh, your clutch pedal is, your brake pedal is, and your gas pedal. Um, get that figured out. Uh, rule number one: Don't be afraid to slam on the brakes and stall the car out. Um, if that's how you have to stop in an emergency, or if you you feel like things are going out of whack, stalling the car is not great for it, but it's also better than running into something. Uh, rule number two: If you can get your foot on the brake when you go to stop, even better. The person's car you're driving or your car will be happy with you if you can do that. All right, I'm on a little bit of a hill. Uh, this car, it's um, it's for the most part stock, but it's 400 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque, so it uh, it'll pull itself. I don't have to give it any gas to get up this hill. So what you want to do is you push your clutch in, grab your gear shifter, usually first gear, and in, in just about all cars is over to the uh, left, up. And then you just ease out on your clutch a little bit till you feel it pulled and let off the brake. In this car, if you're in a, in a sports car like this, you don't have to give it any gas. Um, and then, then you're on your way. You push your clutch in when you want to change gears. Um, so let's go up here and stop. And we'll do it one more time. Push your clutch in when you want to stop hit the brake all right in neutral clutch first gear there goes the truck ease off the clutch you will start rolling forward all right now we're going a little bit of gas all right clutch pull back to second it's easy it's just it's a rhythm thing the more you drive the better you will get um, so yeah I'm coming up here to a stop sign clutch brake if you're new just go to neutral nothing wrong with that all right so I'm gonna take the camera off of my feet I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see where we're going off the clutch Yes. Clutch, shift, gas, clutch, shift, let go of the clutch, gas. I learned in a Jeep Wrangler, um, and that is a little bit different. That you have to uh, actually be more aggressive with the, the throttle pedal because it doesn't have the low end torque that, that a sports car will have. And um, you just kind of have to give it a little bit of gas when you take off. This car will pull itself. It's really not fair. This, If, if you have a friend who is okay with you driving their sports car, um, in terms of just clutch feel and, and driving it, that's gonna be the easiest way because you don't have to use the gas pedal to take off. I can take off on a hill and if I let go of the clutch slow enough, you're not gonna stall out. It'll pull itself. Um, but having said that, let's uh, let's go jump in the Jeep and uh, show you how to uh, how to drive that. One thing you always want to do when you come to a stop, you're going to want to pull your parking brake. Make sure your car goes into gear. That way, 
if it goes off to roll away, the parking brake will catch it. If the parking brake fails, the transmission will catch it, just like if you put your automatic car in park. Now the Jeep is a totally different ball game. It's uh, kind of an underpowered vehicle. Um, you stall this out a lot more, your shift throws are a lot longer. Um, but the same thing applies for the brake and, and start it in neutral with the brake on and all that good stuff. Now this one, you kind of have to give it a little gas to, uh, to get going. All right, first gear, clutch in, foot off the brake. Now I'm not on a hill, just ease out on that. All right, we're on a small hill. So same thing, neutral, first gear. The same time you want to let your foot off the brake, on the gas, off the clutch at the same time. This takes practice, probably going to stall out, that's fine. Just make sure you practice. Once you practice, once you get it down two or three times, muscle memory takes over. It doesn't take long to learn this stuff, and it's fun. It's the way cars were supposed to be driven. I haven't owned an automatic vehicle other than my wife's Volkswagen in five years. Everything I've had for five years has been stick shift. The Jeep's a five speed, it's a 2001 model, the GTO's a six speed, but it's fun. It's engaging. You feel a lot more. You put your hand on the gear shift, you're going down the highway, you can feel vibrations and stuff like that in the drive line and you know what's going on you're more in tune now, i know i sound like a weirdo saying that kind of stuff but it's true it's uh you know it's the way cars are supposed to be driven all right i'm in neutral parking parking brake first gear foot off the clutch it's that easy go do it get a buddy ask them if you can drive their car it is fun you will enjoy it get yourself a traditional four, five, or six speed. They're dying breed, but you can still find them. All right. Appreciate you watching the channel. Subscribe as always. See you next time.